They're in times of drought like where two-thirds of the country's experience that you're having to water a lot of your shrubs and most people will put the hose and right in the center of that plant where it comes out the ground just like trees shrubs everything the roots are not just at the center see that little tree over there in front of that you can picture the roots can go out as far as the size of that the branches and leaves on that tree hydrangea is no different all the roots on in the center they're right here so when you water something like this in the drought and and hydrangeas I call them 90 percent plants because they're basically made up of water uh, if you water the center all these outer roots that are out here right there they're not getting any water because you're watering over there you need to water a big wide circle. Not quite as far as this thing is over because the hydrangea gets real heavy with these flowers. If the flowers weren't on it, the drip edge would be back about here. But you want to do this in about a, I don't know, three foot circle. Don't put all the water in the middle because all the roots out at the fine outer edge are real thin and tiny and delicate and they're trying to get water and there isn't anything out there and they die. Just a little tip. Now I'm going to show you something over in the garden on a cucumber vine. Well, my cucumbers had some damaged leaves and stems on it, and it's a lot thinner now because I've taken them out. There's still a few dead leaves in there, and I'm, uh, it's quarter four here on the East Coast on Thursday the 2nd of August, and I'm getting a little tired. And it's pretty hot, and I've, uh, I'll get those on the other side up another time but I'm telling people about uh, where to water and I'm just talking about a hydrangea this is a cucumber that I pulled up that was diseased and look how long that root is now I'm gonna lay this down on the ground see the stem I'm going to mark it off with my feet. One, two, three, over four. That thing is about 50 inches long. And if you're watering with a dripper, like I do, most of the water is right here. How does that root get water? Unless it goes where you're watering with the drip line. And this one was following it pretty good. I pull out one that I've already thrown in the trash can that was longer than this. So when I water this, I try to water about a foot either side of it. Just a little something about watering. And let's take a walk over here and put this little root with a long, little stem with a long root. And I'll show you once the light changes. This trash can was empty. That's what I took off my cucumber plants today. And I found six cukes that I missed yesterday. Thanks for watching.